Yeah, so Jeff. Yo, it's Matt. Jeremy, you need a Skype? Oh. We're looking yeah. at Fred right now. Looking oh, at him oh. mad hard. Well, I'm trying to overkill And that's Fred, guy. who's playing Muramasa. I was trying to overkill that guy. Right you now, guys... Muramasa the Demon Blade. Messed it up. You messed it up. Whatever. And today, we are here to talk about the 3DS and the Vita and different things about them. Things. Portable, things portable and stuff. gaming as a whole, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah. how they're both doing. Yeah, portable gaming as a like whole, that. the 3DS and the Vita, there's nothing else. Yeah, there is. There's oh, mobile gaming via via iPod, iPad, or whatever else. That's not gaming. Know. That's just a, that's just wasting time. People, no, things? people actually no, consider that gaming. If you if you if you, if you do get, play games from like the iTunes Store or Android Market, whatever you want to call it, the Google Play, whatever, people do it, and you know it's kind of outselling a lot of stuff, especially in Japan. Bro, nah, that's 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 fake. It's not real. <laughs> you're right. You're right. How who could who could who could do Why that? Why would I right? pay a dollar? And Candy Crush, when I could pay forty dollars for Muramasa and the Vita, you have to pay for Candy Crush. No, no, you you're paying money you for Candy can. Crush. You can, you can, you could. Okay, you Man, can't why, why combine five for... candies in this, okay, to destroy all the same color candies, can you? Are you being what? serious right now? Is that a hint it? at like black people or something? I don't understand. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> destroy the race, get back in the bus, get all the colors you're together, weird. stay in the back of the bus. <laughs> Uh, you're definitely weird. Um, yeah, you're stupid. Okay. I'm so mad right now. I can't see. So, it. right now as it stands, the Vita is pretty dead here in the United States. Don't say that. Said, it is don't, though. Don't say that. Unfortunately, it, 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 it is. It's, it's it's not dead in the water. Dead. Outside it's, of Japan, it's, it's fucking dead though. Unfortunately, I feel like it was. Uh, it's definitely Sony's fault though in that wait, part. Wait, wait, is dead. Dead in the fact it's Here not selling. Here in America is not dead in Japan. Not really. Why? Because there's a way more game support out in Japan for the Vita. Is there? Yes. For Sony in general. For yes, in general. I feel like if they lowered the price on the on the memory cards, that would probably make it sell. Drop the price of the console, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. The, the the price of the console is too high. People would. Definitely, it shows because look what happened with the 3DS. They lowered the prices and bam, sales. Imagine, yeah, imagine but the 3DS was still selling for 250 alongside the Vita. Yeah, but look at the Vita is a much more complicated and much better machine than the 3DS. That may be that may be so, but the average customer doesn't really care. They just want a system to play games on. It doesn't matter what it can do. They just want a system. The average customer doesn't it's care. Expensive. If it's what? The average customer doesn't care. The average customer just likes their their Nintendos. That's. Well, that too, but I'm just saying, like, if you really think about it, the average customer, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter to them which system is more powerful. It's just, it comes down to games and, you know, affordability. Yeah, but that's pretty much what it comes the down Vita's to. got the the playable version of Blaze Blue, so it wins. Yes, because yes, all the 12-year-olds are can't, can't wait to get their hands on the, the Blaze Blue and that inferior version to the 360 because of those dropped frames. Yeah. They're thinking about that. Ah. Uh. But no, it's, just, it's it's it 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 all comes back down to the whole name issue too. So you got you got Nintendo, and then you got Sony. People are gonna get their Nintendo. Yeah, in America, people look at What's Nintendo. What's the with all these Nintendo? Yeah, okay. First of which is in Japan, Sony is more family. Okay. Here, they're not looked at like that. Remember, Pendle you know, too, man. you know, this goes back to when people were uh, the one guy was on my stream when I was doing uh, Skyward Sword. Remember you and Jeremy were on Skype with me and that guy was in my room and he was like saying how Sony has nothing but shooters? Oh yeah, I yeah, don't right know. Right there, like he's like, Nintendo doesn't, they have all sorts of different stuff, Sony's just like shooters. And I'm like, okay, and then someone looked it up and they're like, they've like 10% of their library shooters, what the, what? Mm. I don't know what that guy was talking about. But yeah, like, it, it's just, it's... I, I still think one of the issues is they still don't know how to advertise what? completely properly here. I mean, there's people who want this stuff, or like how they assume people don't want it. An example is Fantasy Star 2. Grand Ice History. Oh man, don't even get me started on a Fantasy Star Online 2. They don't want to make money. They want to not. But isn't that more of a, isn't that more of a Sega thing than a Sony thing? I have Sega. I have no idea. Well, yeah, that's, that's like that that's old thing with Monster thing. Hunter, right? Like, whose fault is that? Is that Capcom or is that Sony? 
What, Nintendo? Nintendo had the money. Nintendo had the money. No, I mean beforehand, with Portable 3rd. Why, why didn't that come here? Because yeah, most of them just I, I think that was a Capcom thing, my friend. Maybe? I, why, what, what, what say would Sony really have? I can tell, tell you why Portable 3rd didn't come here. Because you buy Tri for the Nintendo Wii, and then... So and then Capcom comes out with Portable Third for your PSP and you're pretty much playing that. I thought you were gonna say that. No. And then you're pretty much playing freaking try on your uh, PSP, you know, besides the swimming sections. And people are gonna look at it and be like, Isn't this a Nintendo game? Like what's going on? No. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It makes kinda of sense. Yeah, that definitely know. does not make any sense. I was gonna Portable joke and say the reason a completely different game. The reason Portable Third never came here is because of the Janugas low tier. Yeah, they added a lot of stuff, but but the big deal about Try coming over here was that it was a it was the first Monster Hunter it was the first Monster Hunter console game in a long time, and it was on a Nintendo console. Okay, so what's that have to do with? They're not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna bring it over. They're not gonna, they're not gonna bring over a small, a smaller, a smaller portable version that has extra extras in it for us Americans. Come on now. Then what was, wait, uh, all, what was wait, Freedom Unite? Let me, let me, let me, let me interrupt you for a second, because everything you said was completely wrong. First of all, Portable <laughs> Third was a completely different game. It wasn't Try. It, it had, had it had a lot of it had a lot of elements in the monsters certain, from Try, it and he took away the swimming. From, it had certain things from Try. It had monsters from Try. I mean, for, I mean, for, I mean when you areas. look, when you also look at it, we we struggled to get freaking uh, United or or, or or they did put in that hot or second G. Anyway, let's stop it. talking about Monster Hunter. It's fucking, we're talking about the 3DS and the Vita. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we barely. All I'm saying, my point is that we we barely got second G here to begin with, and you, if you really expect America to get portable third year, no, it's not gonna happen. This is my opinion. So, like, with the Vita, obviously, there's a bunch of cons in there. What other games are coming out for the Vita? Who knows? What other games are coming Not out for the Vita? Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's go. Okay, yeah, seriously that's, though, that's, does that's, anyone know what games are coming out like as Vita titles? God, even. Dragon's Crown. That's what not just talking? a Vita title, it's a, well, it's a PS3, PS3 title too. PSP. There's that Killzone game, I forgot what it's called. PSP. Uh, what? Is it PSP? God Eater? I meant God. Well, I uh, Dragon's Crown. God Eater. Dragon's Crown. I think I think he was responding to Jeremy there, but. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant Yeah, there's God. E yeah, it's God Eater too. You got you got Killzone, that new Killzone game. I, I think it was Killzone Mercenaries. I think that's what it's called. Nah, I have yeah. no idea. That game's coming out if you care. I mean, not everyone cares. Everyone has differing opinions, but uh, um. Still not Mario and Luigi. What? So it's still not Mario and Luigi. Did you just compare Killzone to Mario and Luigi? No, I'm not, I'm just saying like we're naming all these titles, but they, they're not gonna sell to the, to the they're not gonna sell to a lot of people. Not here anymore. Anyway. Not here. Well, because certain it, like well, it's of course Mario and Luigi's a little more known than Killzone. That's what I'm saying. Like Sony also like lacks that that you know popular IP. At least they have IPs. Unlike yeah. Microsoft. Yeah, they got the Halos and the Blinks, the Time Cat. <laughs> Imagine that they come out with a handheld blinks the time cat. Control time, bro. Uh, anyway, um, the 3DS is crushing it right now. Plain and simple, man. Nintendo was lagging in the beginning because like one of their launch titles was Steel Diver for forty bucks. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty-six dollars. People bought it. Steel Diver. Now they got that Ambassador program, which I really don't think it was that worth it. But whatever. It's not. I rather I rather have that extra. Uh, how much? How much did the duty drop to? One sixty nine? Yeah, something like that. I rather have. I rather have the extra eighty bucks in my pocket. That, by the way, that still pisses me off. I really don't care what anyone says. I really don't. Um, I would, I will gladly pay, whatever money. What is it? Probably would charge like ten, fifteen dollars for Metro Fusion, the Game Boy Advance game. I would gladly buy that on my 3DS. But it's exclusive to the ambassadors forever. What a great thing. Oh, also. Uh, so, in, in reference to what we were talking about before, about so, uh, the Vita, exclusive games to the Vita, uh, I just remembered we got Valhalla Hollow Knights 3, uh, Ease Memories of Celta, uh, Tearaway, let's not forget Tearaway. Oh yeah, Tearaway, that's the big one. Um, let's see what else we got. I want Tearaway, buy me Tearaway. No. There was another one, I can't remember, another XE produced, pub or published game. It's exclusive to the Vita that we're getting. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, there's a bunch of uh, games that are being uh, published by XE that are coming out over the next couple months. Yeah, that's cool. No, that's going to matter as soon as Smash Brother comes out. Everything in town is going to outsell the Vita. Only Smash? Yeah. People are looking forward to it, man. It's coming out next year, though. Yeah, but that's gonna, that, that that's a console seller for me. It's going to be a console seller for other people, too. This might... I mean, with... 
With Nintendo, you think they would have had a bunch of these gates, uh, gates, a bunch of these games ready to go? You think they would have been working on them? The, yo, the day Nintendo releases a game like Smash on re on a release on their console, is the day I buy their console day one. I mean, they should have had they should have had more ready, especially with the you think the 3DS would have had way more. They had what Steel was Steel Diver and Nintendo Dogs plus Cats. Oh, see, this is, yeah. I like to think Nintendo has like. I, the one thing I hate about Nintendo, what, especially when I come out with, with the new console, is that they bring up all these uh, titles, and they're like, oh, they're coming soon to the Wii or Wii U, whatever, and then like it takes like two years for it to come out. It, like, I, I feel like I feel like they're not empty promises, but like they, they, they get you all hyped up for nothing. Like one of the one of the main reasons why I wanted a Wii, besides like you know the whole gimmicky thing at first, was uh, for, was for Smash and what it came out like three years after the Wii came out. After delay, after yeah, delay, after delay. Day. And then I took it online and I cried a little bit and I pooped my pants. <laughs> what did you, what did you, you took it online today, didn't you? How did that go? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> I actually took Project M online and it actually worked. Did it really? Wow. Yeah, I found people who were playing and it got disconnected. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, yeah. as far as it goes now, I don't think the beat is going to recover in the U.S. Honestly. It's going to recover in I, Japan. I, I, like I said before, it's going down the path of the PSP. I, I, I feel like I'm a little, a little more optimistic about it. I feel like it'll, it'll, it has its moment right, you know, its dark moment now. But it'll pick up a bit. It'll get some games that like that'll come out here. That'll get people more interested. Maybe not as much as a 3DS. Like as much as the 3DS is, you know, like booming. It won't sell like that well. But I think it'll, it'll do like just as well as the PSP did. Well, people did say Sony couldn't compete with Nintendo at all when the PSP came out. PSP was just going to flop as soon as it came out. It did lack titles for a while. It did, but it didn't flop. It was a nice multimedia device, though. Especially, especially for its time. No, duh, the that's, PS... That's, a, that's another thing about the, the Vita is that, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a much more powerful system, and it's got a lot of nice things. Like, even now, as I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to you through Skype on my Vita. 3S, 3S ain't got that. It doesn't have that at all. No Skype. Where's the Skype? I don't know if like. I don't know if the uh, v, if the 3DS could actually handle doing Skype and a and a game and a game at the same time. I don't think it's that like you, capable. You literally gotta quit like everything you're doing. You have to. Yeah, just on the 3DS. I, I think you the can't. only thing on the 3DS you can actually check while you're playing a game or something is your friend list. It's weird. Really? I didn't even. I never even tried it on my 3DS. Right yeah. now, uh, well, the 3DS is pretty strong right now. It's got like titles like Luigi's Mansion. It's got Ocarina of Time that's probably Kid still Icarus. selling it. Animal Kid Crossing, Icarus. Maybe? Fire I don't know. It's Kid Icarus. Project X Zone. Yeah. Hunter. It's got a lot of games people want for it. There's going to be quite a strong lineup coming out uh, next year. And also their eShop's doing pretty well, so... I mean, portably, Nintendo's doing great. Can't say much for their Wii U, but whatever. Yeah. Can't win them all. The Wii U's momentum will probably gain, gain a little bit, too, later. It'll, yeah, it'll definitely pick up. I would say it'll pick up later this year after they actually, you know, release some games. No. No. I don't believe the Wii U's going to pick up until next year. I think, I think come holiday season, it might, it might pick up some... Uh, a little bit. The PS4's going to... This is, this is completely off topic, but the PS4 is probably going to crush the Wii U. It more, I agree. It more than likely will. PS4's actually got stuff coming up people want. Anyway. I mean, go look on Amazon. It's already, like, it's it's still in the top, like, top sellers. So, like, another thing is, like, porting games to the 3DS versus the Vita. Much rather any of them on the Vita than the 3DS. Example is Blaze Blue, of course. It's the biggest example I can give as, I don't know, the Vita can actually handle the game. Unlike the 3DS... They, apparently the 3ds version the 3ds uh, does not even have um, does not have extend it only has continuum shift 2 that's gross which I, is, I, I hate I when they do that. that they can't you know I remember what I told you about the difference one of the differences when they do the astrals you know how they move in the background like Subaki's statue thing moves mm -hmm. it doesn't do that in the 3ds it just stands still like as a static picture that, that, that really pissed me off when uh, the 3DS came out, and it didn't even have arcade edition for uh, Street Fighter 4. Oh, yeah, It was, yeah, a, it was yeah. a Super Street Fighter 4. That and was so dumb. I mean, it, yeah, it, was all, was. it looked all right, but... No, that was that was a really dumb move. I'm sorry. Like, 
like, I can get, even though I hate that game on the 3DS anyway because of that D-pad, but it's just like, hey, Arcade Edition's out, let's, let's give them Super Street Fighter 4 instead. Actually, I think I think it came out just before Arcade Edition. It doesn't matter. Way. Capcom knew they were releasing I know, I know, Arcade I know. Edition. I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Either way, either way, it was super. Right when like Arcade Edition was coming out. Like I know, I know you're buying it for a handheld console, but you shouldn't make the consumer feel like you're, they're getting the inferior version. Oh, this is me. They should have. They should have just waited. If anything, I still don't know why Street Fighter Four is not on the Vita. It's weird. Cause it's on 3DS, and we all know how that happens. Yeah, I guess it's, I don't know, maybe, like I said, I, I don't think they feel like, it's been out for a while, I don't think they're gonna port it now. It's the, aren't they coming out with like a, aren't they coming out with another patch soon? Oh, they already did. There, there, there's talk of another patch, they never said officially that they're coming out with one, they just asked people for their opinions on like character changes and stuff, for a possible fix, a possible 